the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy. Looking for a comfortable getaway? A place to relax and enjoy the finer things in life? Or simply a holiday home out of your city, equipped within a safe, secure neighborhood, with running water, electricity, and a beautiful place to lay your head with satellite entertainment and an outdoor garden to relax? Pamusha is your place, your getaway, your home away from home. Contact Jada on plus two six three. 771-798-415 or plus 263-777-439-698 Pamusha Your place, your home Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen. We're coming out under the Chief Air Marshal here on the Ola7 Podcast Show, the most trending show in the land. And, you know, on this show, we get to talk to different people from all walks of life, footballers, superstars, you know, uh, musicians, and politicians. And tonight, I'm talking to one of the most, you know, <laughs> most uh, talking about artists in Zimbabwe. He's a South African best. His name is Nox Guni. The Dinonyara hitmaker. I'm sure Miss Mosega Sugans in Dinonyara, Parasanga Jamba, you know, we all take a jamba, take a jamba and go malaria. So now see Aripanaba on the Ola Sempurka show to tell us more about his, you know, journey, uh, musical career, and life in general. So we get to know about, about him. And I know you guys have got some questions. You can just start sending your questions in the comment section. And uh, welcome on the All Last Seven Podcast Show, Knox. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. And uh, thank you for having me. Great. Um, and how have you been? I, I understand you were in Chiredi. You had uh, some short. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been in the country for, uh, I think, more than a week now. Mm -hmm. I came last week. I was in, I'm launching a band, a live mm. band, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a band that I put together. It's called Ice and Roses Band. Mm -hmm. And our first event was last week in Chivo. Mm -hmm. So we've been here for like a week. And then we did Chivo. And then three days ago, we did um, Liquids, mm -hmm. Mashingo. Yes. And then two days ago, we did Chiriadze. And now we are here. Wow. So we've done three shows so uh -huh. far. And the plan is to just to, to, to announce to people mm -hmm. that things have changed now. Yeah. We have entered the new uh, uh, era. So when, when you say you have um, come to um, launch the band, mm -hmm. are you saying you were running as a solo or what? Okay, what's been happening all this time, I've been uh, running as a, a solo artist mm -hmm. and I was performing on backtracks. Okay. And I've, I, I think I started... Um, fusing live instruments mm -hmm. two, three years ago. Okay. It's always been my wish to perform live to people mm. because, you know, everybody likes live music. Yes, true. And I think live, live music, you still have to work for it. Wow. You know, so education is not substitutable. That is why Jay-Z, he might not be educated, but he's mm -hmm. got educated people running his his business. Mm -hmm. He can because he knows that he cannot substitute education with anything. Yeah. True. So if you didn't finish, mm -hmm. like Kanye West, mm -hmm. you get people that actually went to school mm -hmm. to run your 
basically just talking about the importance of business I, and I, the importance I, I, of education. I like that. Sakam sanye pera ne mchiti because Kanye West aka drop out aka say 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 say. Uh, like I told same. you yeah. we know about it because it's a one in a million cases mm-hmm. that you mm-hmm. drop out of school and make it. Yeah. Yeah. But you can it depends you know everything is not dependent on money true but it's important to stress that education mm-hmm. is not substitutable yeah if you really want to make it mm, that's very true that's so profound coming from uh, Knox here on the All of Seven podcast show we're going to learn a lot of things tonight then i understand you know the pokaimba song ya go ndinonyara but the pokaimba is is example when they say guru wangu is it true or it was just and nye big like eh ndinonyara well let me can i Uh, do you allow me to talk about that? Of song? course, of course. Okay, and uh, and how the song came mm-hmm. about. Uh 2010 into 2011 I I was working na Russo, mm-hmm. producer Russo. Yes, I am. So I can to be a bit there, but I tanga ngonyora. So for me, naita zoku I didn't really know kuti it was going to be a big song. It's it. In fact, it was not a song to begin with. Mm. Okay, if you listen to that song, you you can tell it does not have a structure yeah. of a song yeah go ro why eh because it was not supposed to be uh-huh. so it was just a joke dango yeah. tangango there is even mama visa takati visa pa song eh uh-huh. ndi so for me i was just joking around mm-hmm. you know and then what happened is i put it on a cd which had my album the mm-hmm. tw- in the um, in the chico the 2012 i think it's 12th 12th one I don't know. Mm-hmm. Eighth wonder. Eighth, Eighth wonder, wonder yeah. yeah. 2012. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. So I took that that album but Ndinonyara was not supposed to be on that album. Ndinonyara mm. so it was the 13th song on the album. So I went with the album to Ku Radio mm-hmm. Power FM. Yes. And uh when I said it did it take. Exactly. I'm sorry but I'm going to my song kana 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 di Exactly. Ana ini da da ji ji ji. So now I see that the Satan song was not part of the album. Mm. So that's okay to go to. That was no man so yenya ku rap it. Cut go. In ko mdara. Wagwal. Wewe wana ku piece song in the beginning. So no song of Pasi the Dragon Deep. It was number 18. No but I have a album. Can you solve the album on one to two? Ah by god. So that's the wangu. No song at all. So it became an instant hit. Uh-huh. I was shocked. But I'm grateful still to him for that. Exactly. May because you know going to go he forgets it and that's what happened with Ndinonyara. I I I love the the this the story, you know. Story line. Uh, the story line. <laughs> <laughs> so the story line. Ndinonyara. Sekuru ndo sabuku. Sekuru sekuru wangu wakazoshaya zvao. But ndo wangu ari sabuku. And the mobile letter that was a letter to Chokwa di Pepe. I'm not sure about going about when you are out in the that was not sure you are baby boy but I think when you are supposed to show okay and when you are song but the story I and it was just what the like I could record you know back my swing exactly cuz I got in a visa but book you go show you what the sabuku ndizango ari sabuku sekuru vango yeah eh baba baba vango who unfortunately passed away I think 2019 oh sad But uh, the whole story is true. Mom, but this is that there now. But well, the, the reason why it became a hit. Mm. I I I think this is me just yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. Uh could you guys are the a true story. So as na kuni need a creativity to just about the right regular story zvinga kuya so flow because we just telling from being for real. You know for real. Mm. And like mama so tlo tla ku nyepa uchida kugadzira a story. So I need to about it was I think it was relatable mm-hmm. and it managed to cut across yes different mm-hmm. uh, categories like age yes, and nobody yes, qualified exactly era. true. Or when by far even different classes of people mm. rich or poor mchechi mbawa each na nazi chiri kungorira. Wow. And I you know thank what? God for that. I like that. And that song I remember is we all vibe to it and I was a radio presenter then in 2012. Okay. I was on radio we played that song like even us going to be read you yeah. know you would see my request. Oh yeah, that place did the road right. I played the song. I was shocked and though. And those other talk to But I want to know uh, from you I want to find out from you uh, my brother Knox. Yeah. You know the most memorable event ya uno said ya uno rangarira of your childhood, you know. Childhood. Yeah. Okay. Uh it's a, it's an embarrassing moment actually. Mm-hmm. Uh it's this event that happened ku Seven Arts. I think in 2005 2004 we had um project ne mpesa in the Flash Gordon. 
Uh, Flash Gordon is one of the, the very, very, very first producers of mm -hmm. Urban Goose, oh, yeah. the, the Urban Goose movement, of which I think it's very important for us to also touch on that yeah. at some point mm -hmm. on a different program. Because yeah. I think people need to know the history of this industry. Yeah, true. Now we are vibing to Holy Ten, we are vibing to uh, Baga, we are vibing to Afana, uh, Risa mm Orgupisa, -hmm. uh, Michael Meggs. Yes. Uh, all of them, kids that are doing very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. But we need also to understand how it came to be like that. Mm -hmm. And there's people that might not be appreciated, but there are people that really made mm. a, 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 a way and paved way yeah. for the industry to be how it is now. Pataka um, Tanga is also, we never mm, had the opportunity to be an artist anymore. Shama. I want to be honest with you. Yeah. 2000 and, from 2005, mm -hmm. going back, go, go, going to Mashuri, mm -hmm. Can I add to Sangatoni Motor, Aningatoni Maningatomo? Somebody, somebody Motor. But we were very popular mm -hmm. and we took a item in the radio. Yeah. True. Another bit in the social media. Social media. Ending, yeah, no, no, yeah, it, was, it was purely radio mm. and it was purely people voting. Yeah. And you could not influence anything mm -hmm. then. So uh, it's very, very important for us to know the history yeah, and to appreciate mm -hmm. the people that have made what we're doing here possible. Yeah, yeah. The same reason why we always have to remember our, mm -hmm. our heroes, our fallen heroes, yes. is in that same context mm -hmm. that we should always pay homage to people like Fortune Mparuta, mm -hmm. people like uh, Alicia Maskiri, mm -hmm. people like Stana, wow. people like XQ, like the pioneers of Eben people like Rocky, yeah. uh, Mafrik, Terrera mm Mugwadi. -hmm. Uh, I know people right now might be looking back at them and say, mm -hmm. Maybe they're not here anymore. Yes. It's the same thing with our the people that fought for the liberation of the yes. country. They're not here so, anymore. Mm -hmm. But we are here because of them. Of them. Mm -hmm. The reason why we have independence every day on every year on the eighteenth is because we need to remember yes. that we are living like this because mm -hmm. there's people that made this possible. Yes, very true. And the same applies to music. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart when people really talk bad about people that started this movement. Mm -hmm. They might not have had the opportunity to get cars, for example. Yes, true. And right now they might not be relevant enough mm -hmm. to be to be recognized. Yes. But do not make a mistake of forgetting your history. Mm. Because people perish in your lack of knowledge. Knowledge, yeah, true. Yes. Uh, for us to know and to enjoy hip hop mm -hmm. and for us for the hip hop to be for hip hop to be played even in Kumarzeva. My friend Eben Gruz was not played Kumar Reserva because yeah. they thought it was too Eben. Mm -hmm. But now, you can have a vote releasing a song today. By the end of the day, it's on yeah, Mama 500,000. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They are very good. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking anything away from them. Yes. I'm actually applauding them. Mm -hmm. But I want everyone to know that they're doing this because some other people sacrificed. Paved the way. They paved, paved the way. And when, we, when, 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 when people were sacrificing, no one knows the future. Mm -hmm. People were, were, were doing this, hoping that themselves, they'll be the ones to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So are, are you like admitting or are you saying, oh, yes, you did this, but at the moment, uh, you guys maybe, uh, like they say these days, No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reporting a situation. Yes. I'm just being a, a social commentator. Mm. I'm looking at the situation. Yeah. And I'm not giving examples of anyone. I'm just saying generally speaking, and this is not just for our industry. Mm -hmm. This happens everywhere. Yeah. But the difference now is that other industries, they respect their legends. Mm -hmm. That's why if you go to America, there's a Hall of Fame. An artist might be old, but because that artist made people jump back in the mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. they deserve respect. Yes. We're not saying go and give them money. Just pay homage. Yes. It's important for them as well mm -hmm. because... Do you know how it feels if you are the one who fought for this country and you are living in this country and you are poor? Mm, not even recognized. Yes. Acknowledged, yeah. Do you know how that feels? Mm. So that same feeling, let's transfer it to the people that fought for, yeah. for this industry to be mm -hmm. how it is now.
No, I, I, I get you. And you, I, I understand you started your, you know, your musical career, like you're narrating the, the whole yes. story, how it started well, yeah. back in 2002. Yes, yes. The, the lucky thing now in this whole thing is that mm. I'm talking from a first yeah. uh, degree uh, uh, perspective. Yes. Because yes. I was there when, mm -hmm. it began, yes. when it began. Yeah. And fortunately, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. That is why I am here. Yes, right? true. Yeah. I think I still matter to the people. Very true. Yes. Very and true. And I think what I say, because I've been there for quite this, you cannot substitute experience with anything. Mm. The moment you miss something, the yeah. moment you go wrong, is when you think experience is not important. True. And the biggest lessons come from experience. Mm. And like I said, you're narrating, you know, from... You were attending your musical career back in 2002. Yeah. Uh, I understand then, Dupongo, you said, Morgan. Yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. Uh, that time. Yeah. And um, what inspired you to start music? I want to understand that. Uh, personally, I always loved music, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to sit here and lie and say this is what it is. I just found myself in it. And But one thing I never thought about myself, I never thought I was good. Mm. Even still up to now. I don't think I'm that good. You doubt yourself? That is No, no, no. I don't doubt myself. That is why I work extra hard. Mm -hmm. Because I know I'm not the best in mm -hmm. what I do. Mm -hmm. But I know that if you work hard, look at Ronaldo. Yeah. He's probably not the best footballer, but because he works hard, yeah, very true. he has become that person. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a lesson as well. You might not uh, be, the, be, be the best vocalist. Mm -hmm. You might not be the best producer. Yes. You might not be the best runner. You might not be the best DJ. Mm -hmm. But if you work hard... You might become the person you want to Very be. Very true. And I'm not saying I'm, I've, I've become the person I want to be. I'm still on the road to go there. But what I can say is that I'm better today than I was yesterday. The key word, work hard. That's the key word. Yeah. You know? And uh, tell us about your about your you know participation uh, in the reality show. Young Eric back then called uh, superstar. The superstar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how did that influence um, your career in music as well? I think I when, when I look back, that is when it all started. Yeah. I was in high school. Dandruko Ellis Robbins mm -hmm. at that time. I think I was in form for 2002. Yeah, I was in doing form. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, well, that's a story oh, for yeah. day. But back then. So, Paketa, it's like idols. He goes, mm -hmm. and the superstar. Yes. So, I entered that. I was not even confident. <laughs> I wasn't confident about it. I was in high school, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I know I remember because the guys, oh, I, that's when I met Ngo and Kambarami. Mm -hmm. Kambarami, yes. yeah. That's when he also started. And Rocky, mm -hmm. Rocky, I think, was also there. And there was a guy called Eric. Mm -hmm. This was like a national thing. Yeah. So I want you, I want you to see how, how big this thing was. They just idols in South Africa. Mm. They're doing yes, like every yes, year. Yes, I, right? I follow that one. Yes, it was like that because mm -hmm. it was like a my season. Mm. So I think well, ours was the second or third season. Yes. Yeah. So no one got tangi, no got tangi. They were bonda poor confident. No first song. I got the poor. I got the poor. Now no go now go in bar money. We end up go go. They are the ones. I'm on the go to go see it. I'm going to see it. So we just have to go. So I went there and um. I met, that's when I met a lot of guys that are running things now. Now, yes. yeah, in the industry. Uh, mm. There was Gary, I don't, I don't know if you know Gary. Gary, Gary yeah, of Gary, course. Yes. Yeah. Angari Mindes, Ndi Angari, I think it was the brains behind that. Uh, and uh, I, unfortunately, I didn't manage to go far. Oh. In that uh, Why? competition. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, well, it, well it, it's not said. Yeah. I had a choice to make. Mm. I was writing exams. Oh, okay. I was in A level. Oh, yeah. So, I got qualified for the next mm -hmm. round. It's the next round. Did I know? You know, clash names on the new exam. My exams. Oh, I think okay. the new exam is economics, two thousand and two. Oh, okay. Mm. But, 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 but by the time you got um, you know that I uh, participated in that uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, superstar mm. season, Eo. Mm. Do you think or do you feel like uh, it really influenced your, your your career? I think I think it did. Yeah, because you know that's the first time I saw myself on TV. Mm. Wow. So I well I I saw myself on TV by default. Not could I I done anything special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like everyone who goes to to idols. Yeah, I don't blow party. Hey, so the guys on party were like, oh, did they do on TV? Yeah. So you know that feeling. You know, it it was nice, mm. and I wanted to you know keep on 
feeling the same way. Yeah. And I had a nice feeling mm -hmm. seeing myself on TV. Wow. But you know what? Why can't I? I enjoy music anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though my parents didn't want me to do music until oh, they I finished. Want to... They didn't want because they wanted me to do school. First. Oh, yes. And I did that. Mm -hmm. But I was doing music on the side. Mm hmm. But then when I blew up, yeah. I couldn't hide anymore exactly. that I'm doing music. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, at what point then did then your parents... Well, you know what my dad, you, what my dad said to me? My dad said... You know what my dad said to me? Mm. You are not going to do music under my roof. Wow. So what it means is you finish school, mm -hmm. get out, do whatever you want. Mm. Which made sense exactly. because he had to send us to school. Mm -hmm. And... Well, I loved school as well. Yeah. Because I was not one of the not so bright children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was I was I was good. Yeah. So I managed to do well yes. in both mm -hmm. music and school. And school. No, so I, my my dad ended up not having an option now oh, yes. because I excelled in school. Mm. So what I was supposed to do from A level and I've never university. Exactly. I understand that A level, you know, you got um twelve points. You know, for someone who's doing music, <laughs> oh, it's just like, okay, music and uh, 12 points. You know, how, how did you manage to balance the truth? Okay, uh, like well, you know, and, 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 and I don't know what I don't know as actual. Hey. Because I was, I was always a top student. When I was in the new school, they know that. And I, I didn't expect 12 points. I expected 15. Mm -hmm. But but when I was parents, they were a combination of in economics. Yes. I got 9 points. 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 Yes, I'd already started music then. Mm -hmm. No, the same days, but I got Sangana Roy and Royce. Oh, yeah. The twins, I got the person, I got the. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the discover, wow. Oh. They discovered me when I was. We're going to talk about that, uh, okay. you know, just now, right. about those guys. Right. And right. I remember, um, Kuti, um, was, you know, like you said earlier, Kuti, when I go MSU, uh, 2003, you started yeah. your degree. Yeah. And you finished in, uh, 2007. Yeah. That's when you graduated. Yes. So, it will be a degree. You can go to send a career, and is it well, really okay. working okay. in your, you know, like your career? You know what? In this right, at this moment, you've asked me a very, very important question, mm. and I think Zimbabwe needs to know this answer because it is a very important answer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not directly using my certificate, okay, but I'm using the experience that I that the, the certificate gave me, okay. What's that experience? Uh, I did almost 33 modules. Mm -hmm. 33 modules? Yes, that included things like project management, mm -hmm. customer care, and yes. all that, part of marketing management. Mm -hmm. So that has helped me in my business. Okay. So now, I I don't want to come here and say, I'm not using my, my degree. Mm -hmm. I went to school for nothing. Yeah. I never I never used my degree. I did use my degree. Mm -hmm. When I finished varsity, I went to SA. Okay. And I worked for like five years. Mm -hmm. In South Africa? Yes. Mm -hmm. I was a, a, a marketing management executive for a mm -hmm. training company called yeah. IT for five good years. But I was balancing both work and music. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, when God has called you for something, no matter what you do, you will end up like Jonah. Yeah. And you do what he has called you for eventually. Mm. Yeah. No matter what. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. Wow. It's the same story that happened. Mm. So my going to school and my going to work, I think it was something that needed to happen for me mm -hmm. to learn mm -hmm. that uh, if you go to school, this is where you can get. So now, what can you change it about then? I don't know if that's the right word to use. Mm -hmm. Change it, hey, I've got it. But I'm using it, not to go around saying, I've it's got this waking, degree, you know, please give me favor. this job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not using it to show it around to anyone. Yes, yes. I'm using the experience mm -hmm. and the education that I got from there. So in other words, you're saying education is really important to the you know artists yes. or the creatives. You know Why? Why I'm saying that yeah. is we've got examples mm -hmm. of talented people that tried to run businesses mm -hmm. themselves. Yeah. It never ends well until and unless there's 
intellectual brains mm. behind every talent. Yeah. Yeah. Now the problem here is that for example in this country for us to have an industry that functions well mm -hmm. we need to have a proper structure mm -hmm. in music industry yeah you go to know vakune muna no the song writer kusho kuna publisher yeah it's a whole line yes that needs to be filled in mm -hmm. for us to be able to say we've got an industry a music industry mm -hmm. what we have here is uh, a situ a system where we choose who we want to listen to and we choose what we want to give them mm. but that is not an international standard that's so and, you're, and, and, you're, you're simply saying we do not have um, I mean music industry here in Zimbabwe is dead is dead yes there's no music industry to talk about uh, back then we used to have like uh, drama we used to have um, gao exactly, records exactly. Are, are you saying that that was, the, um, that was a structure mm. okay i'm not dissing the current structure yeah i'm just saying it as it is mm -hmm. if you want to ask uh, macheso um, dara elder macheso yes. they will tell you they will reiterate the same or if you want to ask dara mkanya mm -hmm. they will repeat the same things i'm telling you now mm. back then in the times of grammar when the white man was still running grammar yes he was running it properly mm -hmm. that's why we had artists the like the bundu boys mm -hmm. that would go to the united states or to the united England, kingdom yeah. for a year yeah. for a year's tour mm -hmm. because they the structure they the structure from the songwriters mm -hmm. uh, music producers mixers hold on there. Doing. um i love you know this uh, this point why there's this you know notion or perspective yeah. uh, that uh, i always hear from the people on streets mm -hmm. saying our local music mm -hmm. is not sellable out there yeah. it's not something that you can sell internationally mm -hmm. but back then there was a uh, uh, bundu boys like mm -hmm. you're saying yeah. you know they used to go and perform in front of the white people not only the locals mm -hmm. you know in 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 foreign countries mm -hmm. what was happening then that is not happening now okay Um I'm going to give you an answer that is what I think. Mm. The in the when when we're talking of the music industry and exporting our talent there's two things involved. What do you export? You export what people don't have. Mm -hmm. You don't export what people have. Yes. So if you're selling maize to a, a, a country like Zambia mm -hmm. That is going to be surplus. They are already. Price. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you think that. it's going to be selling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it going to sell? Mm, no. But it's exactly the same maize that you find in there. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? You export what the world does not have. Okay. The reason why Bundu Boys was going there, they were not going there saying they are Americans. Mm -hmm. They were not going there saying they are Nigerians. Or try to be like British. They were not going there saying they are trying to be Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. they were going there because they were sounding zimbabwean mm. and there was not that sound was not there so someone can pay to see what they don't see every day every day yeah like you, you you see mkanya performing yes. in front of the whites playing yes. bira or show and yes. people dancing exactly, to it exactly exactly yeah. and people always remember the fest mm -hmm. no matter how good you are <laughs> if you're trying to copy someone you're always going to be number two. oh yeah yes so that is very very important and very mm -hmm. crucial mm -hmm. There wasn't really uh, nothing spectacular that the the Bundu boys had. Mm -hmm. What they had was the identity. Wow, I like that. They represented mm -hmm. a nation called Zimbabwe. Okay. <laughs> What is it going to took, uh, take for us, you know, to 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 get there? We need we need to remember I talk about I, I spoke about history. Mm -hmm. We need to study where we are coming from. Yeah. And where we are and where we are going. Mhm. Mm That is the only way we are going to move forward with focus. Yeah. If we know where we are coming from, we will be able to know where we are. If we know where we are, we will be able to navigate mm -hmm. through to the trajectory from here going mm -hmm. forward, going yeah. forward. Yeah. But if we don't know our history, if we 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 decide to close the chapter mm -hmm. of our history, for example, let's let's close the chapter of our 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 liberation war heroes. Mm -hmm. Is that going to go down well? No. Is it fair to close that chapter? No, it's not. Mm. 
So let's not forget the history. The history. Let's pay homage mm -hmm. to people that began. And what is going to take for us to go to that level? Yekuti would have mtukuzi going to the United States, feeling uh, whatever venue there. Yeah. With non Zimbabweans. Zimbabweans, yeah. That is what is called an international tour. Mm, mm, you cannot mm. go to England and, and perform to Zimbabwe and, yeah. and come back and write that you were you, mm. you on an international tour. Yes. Partly, it's, it's technically correct mm -hmm. because you were in England. Mm -hmm. But what it means is that it's a, it's, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> because the international tour move, yeah. is for international audience. Yes. They don't have to have anything to do with you. So far, who would you say uh, that this is our um, international, you know, artists from Zimbabwe who would go and perform in front of uh, foreigners? Right now? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, eh? Hmm. Are you saying, if you're saying, you're not sure, are you saying there's none? No, 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 I'm not or saying it's, that. It's just there is no clear. There, there isn't something that is as clear as this. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too sure. But from where I'm standing, mm -hmm. I like what I'm seeing. You yeah. Know? The kids, they're doing well. And, 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 when I say, and when I say kids, I don't mean in, in any disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I mean in, in, in a age yes. terms. Yeah. Because they are kids anyway. Well, uh, Michael Meggs was born in 2000, 2001. Yeah. But they are doing very well. Mm hmm very, very well. And they have started doing, they started going back yes, yes. to the original sound. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to look at that song, you know, the um, teaching, exactly, lost with the Holy Child. Right. Let's listen to that song. Yeah. There's a guitar there. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a lead. Yeah. Pay yeah. attention to that. Mm -hmm. So it's now it's more to do with the 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 details mm -hmm. of the sound. Yeah. As long as it's paying homage to our history, mm -hmm. it becomes marketable. Yeah. Because it's what it means. It, it becomes identifiable mm -hmm. that this is a Zimbabwean sound. You you, you, you mentioned uh, earlier yeah. on, uh, 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 Nox, uh, that we don't have a structure. Yeah. And you also mentioned that uh, we talked about grammar here. Mm -hmm. But I want to understand something, mm -hmm. uh, Knox. These days we've got uh, lots of uh, producers, you know, they're just doing, and some are just doing back backyard music, yeah. you know, um, just open the studio. And is it going to change? Or should we then start having uh, that, um, you know, structure? Okay. Using um, pro the, the, the current uh, producers uh, or what's the okay. you know, criteria? Thank you for asking me that because... It's an answer I've been trying to answer myself as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. for quite a long time. Yeah. Because I thought if you are a good producer, mm -hmm. you are supposed to be making hits. Yeah. That's what I thought. A good producer. But it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can also make, make music that is going, not going to be trend. The first thing you need to do, mm. you need to, to plan. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it? Yeah. Have a structure first. Because we made mistakes when, when, when we started this. We made mistakes because it was something new. Mm -hmm. And it was a new sound. We took over from Museve. Yes. Do you know how difficult that is? Yeah. To take over from um, uh, Alec Macheso, yes. for example. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Ah, it's not an easy thing. But we, we, we like where the transition mm -hmm. from Museve, Urban Goose, mm -hmm. Zim Danso? Yes. Now Zim Hip Hop. Oh, yeah. With the Zim Hip Hop, there is uh, Afrobeat mm -hmm. there. Yes. You know? Yes. But that is how it all became. became so do you think uh, Sungura is going to stand the ground since uh, we now no, have no, this? I, I wanted uh, to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Your question was, do you think we are going to go somewhere? Exactly, and exactly, yeah. And I've, I'm going to answer you with an advice. Mm -hmm. uh, the only way Zimbabwean music is going to go forward is by calling a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. Good music is good music regardless of, of who has done it. Mm -hmm. Bad music is bad music regardless of who has done it. Mm -hmm. Can we all agree on what is called good music? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Let's not have powers that can force people to like something we just what they, because they've got <laughs> money 
to make something change. Yes, yes, yes. That is what is killing this industry. Mm. Because there's people with money that are detecting what is supposed to be listened to. Mm -hmm. But the world does not listen to you guys. We are a very small nation. Okay, let's start. No matter what we do here, we can wait. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. Yeah. No matter decisions we make here, even if they can uh, be beneficial to a few people here, they might not be beneficial to the same artist. Mm -hmm. There, yes. To me, it's international stage. Mega maga have said this. I'm not far enough away. I'm just in the artist. What you could do, we do. Can't go back and give. Tega, se nyika ngadi sa gei mo not not tikatira. I want to be very honest. In I like Nati O. Nati O. I like Takura. Mm -hmm. I like um I like the music. Mm -hmm. uh, especially Takura now comment on David Yes. Yes. True. And uh, so my artist, I am artist, Eguti. Personally, I can vouch for them, mm -hmm. even on an international platform. Yeah. But my only advice is let's not forget the history. Mm -hmm. Can we try to put as much Zimbabweanness into our music? Mm -hmm. Right now, um, Holiton is saying he's the king of hip hop. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's your take on that when you listen to his music and um, maybe your comment? I love him. I love his music. Mm -hmm. Great kid. And uh, he's been doing very well. Mm -hmm. I need, I need people to understand that this kid is only 21. Yeah. And he's making the whole, the whole country 12. <laughs> so you cannot take that away from him. Yes, yes. And the moment we realize that, the better. Mm -hmm. Because we are not going to take away anything from that. From one. him. So I like him. I like his music. I even have got a collaboration with him mm -hmm. and Michael Max. That's why you see I'm, 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 I'm name dropping them because yes. I'm personally yes. friends with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like Holy Ten. Uh, I think... He is, he's radical. Yeah. And radical is not a bad mm -hmm. statement. Yeah. Radical is a radical statement. <laughs> 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 uh, and we've got a problem of just attaching mm -hmm. radicalism with negativity. Oh, yes. He's yes. someone who's got his own strategy. Mm -hmm. And trust me, it's working. Whatever strategy he's having, mm -hmm. if we are so still talking about him now. So when should we expect um, uh, a collab between you two guys? We've got a collab already. Mm -hmm. One of the current hit songs that I have is with Wallace. Serious? Yes. Man, Jim Chaita sick. Almost a million views now. <laughs> well, that was December. So uh, that's that's only ten. Can I tell them for no one? So we've you know, got we've got some projects that we've done already mm. that we haven't released because uh, timing is very important. Very well. important, yeah, music. you can say that again. Very important. You know, you recorded your first uh, hit song, You Were Maria, back in 2000-something. 2002. 2002, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was the response? I didn't expect that. Uh, <clears throat> it became song of the year. Mm -hmm. And it also had a video to go with it. Mm -hmm. Which became one of the best, best videos of the year. Wow. Never forget leather suit. So, <laughs> and if you want to be honest, my times at Akai Itama music videos, you uh -huh. see, we changed the way people viewed music, music videos. videos. If you want to be honest with yourself, go back mm -hmm. and look from the first, first, first video that we have done, mm -hmm. Yuya Maria. Up until now, we've just released a video yeah. called Game Over. Mm -hmm. All the videos that we've been doing all along, we've been paying particular attention, attention yeah. to, can we try at least to match what is mm -hmm. happening on the international yeah, platform? Yeah, true, true, true. If we can't do it with our music, mm -hmm. can we at least try with the videos? Yes. Everybody can see a good video. Mm, yes. It and you know, good. we've got places like Trace, mm -hmm. MTV. Yeah. And I'm, I'm oh, glad, uh, I'm lucky. Channel O? Yeah, Channel O. I'm mm -hmm. glad or lucky that um, they have got me in their system. Oh, yes. Because I've got music there mm -hmm. that is there already. Yes. And what I do is, whenever I've got something that mm -hmm. I want, that I think just is submit. worth, mm -hmm. I give, I mean, when I submit, it doesn't take a week. Mm. You have to play. Be, yes. And one thing also, artists, what's very important is when you are submitting music, if it's a video, mm -hmm. it's very important to, to, to write who was the director oh, yes. of the video. Yes. Because uh, companies like Trace mm -hmm. and MTV, they've got preferred directors. Okay, so if it's coming from this director, exactly. it's good. If it's exactly. this one, then... Mm. But we didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I'm giving all this information because some people might not even know that mm. up to now. Yeah. 
when I got to know it, it became very useful information mm. that I used. Yeah. Which is the reason why you see most of my videos that I do, they play yeah. on MTV, on Trace, yes. on Channel, Channel yes, SBC, I saw that. even yeah. in, on Wasafi, yes. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. I even have uh, videos playing in, in, in Nigeria. Yes. I did a, a song with... Um, uh, uh, it's Ianya, you know Ianya from Nigeria. Ianya, yes, uh, Kukere Hitmaker. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, I've got a song with him yeah. that is doing very well in Nigeria right mm. now. Yeah. Wow, this is just amazing news. Yeah. And you know, uh, I understand because of Sangana, Roy and Royce, and they changed, you know, yeah. your life in, I mean, musically. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. Roy and Royce, when I met them, they were um, they were already uh, big in the industry. Mm -hmm. They were working with uh, Delani Makalema. Shout out to Delani Makalema. Respect. Mm. The father of Eben Grooves, the founder. Dilan. Dilan Makalima. Badass producer. Shout out to Fortune Parutza. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So anyway, I was talking, you know, the paying homage you get. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, 2003, when I met Roy and Royce, uh, they were doing, I joined, I joined here in the Shep Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Shep Zimbabwe, it was a, an organization in Gary Yukuma University. This place. Okay. So they were doing uh, my compilation albums, mm -hmm. educating people about HIV oh, yes. and the dangers of HIV mm -hmm. and everything to do with HIV. Yes. So they were doing, they were going around the universities, like you my musicians. Mm -hmm. That's when I got identified from MSU. Oh. But the program, USA, I was the number one musician mm -hmm. by my university's ASA. Wow. And I'm not going to sing and then the number him. Shana. That was before I started. So that yeah. they discovered me before my very first song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So respect yeah. to uh, Roy and Royce and also Jacob, Jacob Mafume. Oh, yes. Uh, the Jacob Mafume is the mayor. Seriously? He was my very first manager, yes. Uh, Jacob Mafume? He's the reason why I went to South Africa. Oh, this is exclusive. <laughs> I didn't know this. I didn't know this. So, no, we, we, we've been uh, uh, business partners for a long time. And mm -hmm. He he helped me from the beginning. Oh yeah. When I started mm -hmm. uh, with Roy and Royce, because I think he was working with with Roy and Royce that time, and them mm -hmm. when Roy and Royce found me, yeah, he also started helping me. Oh yeah. And that time we were going around the country, uh, educating people mm -hmm. about the importance of registering to vote. So he was the manager then, mm -hmm. my manager. Yeah. So he went all over the country, and we finished all the provinces. Mm -hmm. I was at the same Tukudzi yeah. at the time. We did some Tukudzi, Nana, Sandra, and Debele. Mm -hmm. We were doing educating people how to vote and yes. how to register. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't have a passport. <laughs> we wanted to go to South Africa to do the same show <laughs> exactly. that we can educate people to vote mm -hmm. and to register. Yeah. He's the guy who got my first passport. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. And uh, yeah, yes. so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be remembering and paying mm -hmm. homage to the twins and Mukuru Jacob. Jacob Mafumi. Mm. So your first album, um, you know, was released in back in 2004. Yes, yes. You know, with hits uh, and the Penges, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you know, tell us about that that album. How did you do it? Maria. Uh, you Maria, you know, okay. The the thing is when Ray and Race uh, found me, mm -hmm. this is what happened. They put together a compilation album mm -hmm. that had other artists who were already popular. Mm. I got a compilation here. The most popular song, we had to video. Oh, yes. So you're going to pay for the video. Mm -hmm. And I remember on the same compilation, there was Alex Yokawa. Yes. I got too popular by then. Mm -hmm. In the same music, yeah. 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 But I got to play song with Maria, and it became the hit song, the hit on, song. The, uh, on the... That compilation? Yes. Wow. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it myself. <laughs> I even enjoyed other songs on the, on the, on the compilation. More than my own song. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with God's design, yeah. it just became popular. That's how I started I, I, I like that. Um, we are here on the Ola Seven podcast. So talking to Knox Guni, Mkumano Yoku Zaka, Kazukura Shagemu Wazano. But Daga Bazo, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to South Africa. I'm going to go, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> but Azuka, man. Tonight, you know, he's here. Azuka. <laughs> he's, telling more about, he's telling us more about his uh, musical journey and all. Oh. And, uh, you know, I understand that uh, you mentioned about the, you know, uh, the importance of so, uh, songwriters yes, to the yes, publisher. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you're a, a good songwriter and you yeah, write yeah. songs for yeah, other yeah. artists as well. Yes, Can yes. you tell us more about that? I didn't know that you write songs for other people, you know, <laughs> back then. I thought maybe Nox Antonyori or Anu or something like that. Well, there's quite a lot of information that people don't know about me. Mm. Um, but I can name drop a few names that uh, I have associated with. 
that have become very popular mm -hmm. afterwards. Yes. People like Oskid. Mm -hmm. Oskid was staying in Botswana. If you ask Oskid, he yeah. will tell you how he came to Zimbabwe. Wow. Look at Takura. Mm -hmm. And again, confidently dropped name Takura any day because mm -hmm. he's my brother. Yeah. Takura was in Soul, Souls of Africa. Yes. yes. In, um, in Gweru. In Gweru. Mm -hmm. And there were three of them. And they were a very good R&B group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Takura wanted so much to come to South Africa. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew that Takura was very talented. Mm -hmm. But I knew that I was not going to be able to get him where he was supposed to oh, go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I, I gave him a few words of advice, mm -hmm. which I think he took. And I'm very happy to see where he is now. Yes. And we talk on a regular basis. Yes. He also says the same about me. And he always reminds me mm. that he, he, he will never forget yeah. that time. Mm -hmm. And I'm wishing him well. Please, David, if you can listen to this, please, man, do a song with Takura. Yeah. He's one of the best we've got here. So when, I, when, I, when I talked to um, Takura a week ago, mm. he told me that uh, there's something you know, coming with uh, Davido. So we can't wait. We can't oh, wait. Oh, it's, uh, oh, <laughs> he told us uh, on, on, on this uh, platform. Really? Yeah, last wow, week. So wow, like, wow, okay, we can't wow. wait. And we're waiting to see what's going to come. And we know Takura is a very good artist and Davido, wow. So it's I like, can't wait for that. You know, and, and what's going to happen is, I'm praying for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to open doors for everyone. Everyone here. else, yeah. And if we are a smart nation, can we all be behind Takura right Sure. Now. Why not? But let, let me tell you what's going to happen. Because I know this country. Mm -hmm. They know our people. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll find people that are going to be taking, talking bad about this. Yeah. A lot of them. Mm. Because most of us don't want to see each other succeeding. Yeah, exactly. And that is very sad. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this to the whole country. Yeah. I wish we had uh, more unity. Mm -hmm. And I wish we could copy from other countries like Nigeria. Yes. You know, my Nigerians, they are together. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why we all know Davido now. You know, we know Davido because the diaspora, mm -hmm. Nigeria, Nigerian diaspora, yes. is the one that made it. Even him, he says that a, the diaspora in Niger is the one that supported mm -hmm. the movement, the Afrobeats. Y yes, true. They were going there to the club, mm -hmm. I'm paying mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. It's It's so good. 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 And that is very bad because... Pulling each other down. You know, it's, it's counterproductivity. Mm, mm. And the devil knows that if you unite, you become more powerful. Exactly. So we just, we don't need to go far mm -hmm. to see what is happening here and why we are not united. You know, you once joined um, a forces with uh, Tawanda Mugodi. And Trevor Dongo. In Trevor Dongo, you know, in 2007, yeah, you know, back yeah, then. Yeah. And um, you formed a group called... Um, Afro, Afro, Afro Unique. Yes. Mm. Tell us about that. Uh, it was me, Trevor. In fact, let me tell you something. Like Magadita song, like the album. Yeah, wait, let me tell you, you what, know? Let me tell you another bit of information. Uh -huh. When Zimpray started. Zimpray. 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 Okay. If you ask Jose Madrid, he will tell you. Mm -hmm. When it all began, the very first album is in praise. Mm -hmm. The hit song there was me, Trevor, and Tawanda. Wow. Oh, yes. I remember the song. <laughs> I so yeah. That is when Zimpre started mm -hmm. with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Hey, McD. I don't know what happened, but they're doing very well, and I'm proud of them. Yeah. But the homage I was talking about, the history, yes. they probably didn't know this, mm -hmm. this history. Mm -hmm. The very first album, the hit song there, I was part of it with Trevor Dongo yes. and Tawanda Mugodi. So we had a group right in the uh, Afro Unique mm -hmm. to get a one album in right the uniqueness. Mm -hmm. and unfortunately, that's the time I, I relocated to South, to South Africa. And we couldn't really proceed. I don't go follow all my, my individual careers. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm happy Trevor is doing well. And Tawanda is also trying to come back and... He's a very, very, very good artist. Mm -hmm. And I think people should look out for him as well. You mentioned about moving to South Africa. And I understand that was a big in 2008. Yeah. You know, um, what motivated that move? Initially, it was just for me. It, I wanted to go to, for a show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for a show? Then you never came back? Ah, oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Okay, listen, uh, it's awesome. He's crazy, man. If you've been listening to what I, to, to, to what I was saying. Uh-huh. 
I went to SA because tayenda kuita show. Yekuno ita tu vanhu vadzidze kuti kuti uvote unofona ngo ari exactly. So my brother was already there my older brother. And I went there shamari. Kona ita tsiva moto shamari. Okati ah bo kai. Kuone moto ndia ana ndia. That's all the moto. You know what? We did the same degree ni my brother. Ita ngo siana ne 2 years. Okay. So when you were telling me good fun I want a day ni what 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 kada. Saka uzwe mza sisi. Soft life. We are the boss. So I decided to go back. Mm-hmm. So when I was going back I wasn't going specifically for music. For music yeah. Nanda pedza show yangu bandana ne passport. Ukata bo. Nanda ne passport is kama bana dzukira. I went back I started doing training. Mm-hmm. I'm a trainer as well facilitator training facilitator. Oh. Yeah again nice. I can I can train your staff. Mm-hmm. Like project management, customer care. Every module that I did. Did you know conversely. this about Knox? That no one. It's your first time hearing this. I'll give you one example. Mm-hmm. All the principals of South Africa, a principal ASM South Africa. Mm-hmm. I trained them project management. Oh, wow. The whole country. Serious? Yes. This is big. The whole country. This is big. Back in 2010. Yeah. I trained the, the, for five days. Mm-hmm. But uh, in the language of the music. Yes. And I was still very, very, very young. So, I was in the pinda. Nishida ku trainer ma facilitator ka ani ngari ma principal. Yes. Angane ndi bu madara manga machembere no zya. Yeah, you are just like yeah. a oh, young boy. So for me to get the attention, you know what I would do? Mm-hmm. And I was very short as well, yeah, short yeah. and slim. Exactly. I would just come there, "Hi, how are you? Magadi enyu ni chulungo of course." Uh-huh. Then I give them my credentials. Okay. Before I start. Mhm. To avoid mm, mm, mm. this and guy then, and then big. soon after that I've got their attention. <laughs> 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 what a way you know <laughs> eh, but no zaka zvinji tinonzi vanhu vakawanda kuti once in South Africa you know my early days I went to South Africa most of the guys mm-hmm. they struggle a lot you know was it the same case in your I don't want to lie I never struggled and I'm not struggling even up to now mm-hmm. but it's not the same case with everyone mm-hmm. South Africa is a, is not a very good country in terms of security mm-hmm. but when you are looking at Uh, economy and somewhere stable mm-hmm. when you know that you've got a place to sleep yes. and something to eat South Africa for now people there they are feeling much better exactly that is the reason why i went there but mm-hmm. uh, we know with 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 technology it doesn't really matter where you stay yes, anymore yes yes very true so, but urwe yatsora what are you doing in, in in south africa it's been 15 years in south africa yeah, yeah what are um, you doing there i've got a recording label mm-hmm. called Kaiser Records mm-hmm. yeah what are you doing there in south africa it's been 15 years in south africa yeah yeah what are you doing there i've got a recording label mm mm-hmm. on the Ice and Roses. Oh yeah. Which I started in 2011. Mm-hmm. And most people might not know this but I am more of a sound engineer mm. more than even an artist. Okay? Yeah, so I do sound engineering. Mm-hmm. Uh so I started Ice and Roses in 2011. It's a studio, a recording mm-hmm. studio, a record label. We we did quite a lot of projects, mm-hmm. some of them you know them. Yes. And uh, I'm also doing fashion. Mhm. We now have a clothing line. Uh Ice and Rose clothing line. Okay. Yeah, we launched well it. Yeah, we we launched it in, in South Africa. Is it like formal clothes or just casual? Everything. Everything. I'm doing everything. Okay. I wish I had brought but uh I think everyone who follows me they know. Mm-hmm. We have got uh t-shirts, we've got suits, we've got formal wear, we've yes. got uh informal, we've got sports, mm-hmm. sports wear, we've got everything. And I'm also trying to get into um perfumes yes i'm also trying to get into shoes i i've got a deal that i'm currently working on mm-hmm. a very big deal wow. but yeah but i've done a couple of uh shoes already okay. that people know uh-huh. my nox shoes but yes it is my wish and hope to be able to maybe if i can partner with yeah. one of these big shoe big, companies yeah yeah true and try to see if we can come up with it. but there's something going on already mm-hmm. which i can't talk about now, now but that is some of the things that i'm doing We yeah. are, we are we are focusing a lot into in in So in, you're not uh, just a the musician. Yeah, no, no, you're, no. you're a businessman. Yeah, you could call me that. In fact, I think I I look at myself as a as a, as a businessman. Yes. More than an artist. Mm-hmm. But that is not something that I began to know Vagudar. Yeah. The moment I started thinking like that is the moment things started changing mm. for me. Because the moment you start treating it as a business that's yeah. when things start changing. Very true. Yeah. So I think you could say you can say that. And uh, talking of um, you know eyes and roses. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I've seen that you're working with uh, Tifa your brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know uh, are you happy with the progress and how is it so far? Uh Tifa has been a producer 
uh, all along. Okay. Yes. Uh, he didn't know that he can sing, actually. Ah, Serious. <laughs> nice. And uh, he's been a producer. Uh, I don't know if you know about my 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 first producer, TBA. Mm-hmm. TBA. TBA. Oh, yes. The one who passed on in, mm-hmm. a, in, a, in a car yeah, accident. Yeah, that's what I heard, yeah. Yeah, 2011, 2012. Mm. So when that happened, I was left without a producer. Mm. So that's when I had to learn production myself. Okay. That's when I had to teach also a teacher. Mm-hmm. How to so you taught him? Yeah, yeah. I taught him some of the things that I know. And of course, after that, he became mm-hmm. also ambitious and he started learning. On yeah, now he's a pro. Yeah, now, <laughs> now he's a very, 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 very good producer. The uh-huh. one who's done um, Uchandi Funga. Yeah. Uchandi Funga, the Tifa Oh. Yeah, and most of the songs that I've done mm-hmm. from, I think for the past 10 years, they've been produced by Tifa. Wow. But he's just been in the background for all along. But mm-hmm. now, Aku, he wants to be there and... I think it's the right time for him. And now. and how is it like you know working with your brother? Like if you know, is a family is it a family thing? Uh, and uh, is it not you know challenging? It's always challenging working with brothers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 fine, but uh, but uh, you know I'm blessed to have Tifa as a brother because yeah. the 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 biggest thing to him is respect. Yeah. So everything. How old happens. is he? 1991. Okay, so he's like 33. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, everything happens around respect mm-hmm. and he's very ambitious and I'm always encouraging him because I know his potential. Yes. He doesn't even believe in his potential. Yeah. But I'm always trying to encourage him and he's doing very, 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 very well. Mm. Now I'm glad that he's even producing for some Nigerian artists. Wow. That's yes, big. Yeah. Pretty soon people will get to know a lot about wow. Tifa's production. I, I, I like that. One day mm. I'll, host, I'll be hosting uh, Tifa on this yeah, uh, platform. Hopefully soon, yeah. And uh, I was also talking about my mixing, mm-hmm. that I'm also a sound engineer. Yes. Most people don't know that. But most of the songs that I've done for the past 10 years, I've been mixing and mastering mm-hmm. myself. Okay. Including the one I did with DJ, with DJ Tira. Tira. Yes. You did that? I mixed and mastered myself. Wow. Yes. My melody. Uh, my melody. I love that song. That's my favorite, man. Stay with me. Yeah. With Digitira. Yes. I also did a song with uh, Makazi mm-hmm. and um, uh, uh, DJ. What's his name? Which one? Mr. Brown. Mr. Bro- oh, Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Brown. I, yeah. I I interviewed him a while ago. Yeah. yeah, I've got a song with Makazi and Mr. Mm-hmm. Brown. He it was produced by Mr. Brown, but I did the mixing and mastering. Mm-hmm. So, I do a lot of mixing that people don't know from. Mm-hmm behind the scenes. And when you hear every song that says at the end, it's knocks on the quality. Mm-hmm. That's my tag. It means oh, I'm the one who is mixed oh, that song. Oh, okay. Mm. So when it's Ice and Roses? We are the record label. Oh, yes. The studio. Uh-huh. Tifa, the producer. The producer, yes. Knox, the sound engineer. Oh, wow. Did you get it? I, 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 now I get it. Mm. You know, one day I was telling it to my D's this other day. Mm. He was telling me, ah, you know what, Ola? When we were in South Africa with Knox, mm. one day we just, I don't got up there and like, okay, let's just produce a song. Because I love that song. I love this part. I love this part. I love this part. I love that song. So I was like, ah, you, Madis, how did you come up with this song? And mm. ah, tell you what, Ola. I'm like, what? Because yeah, it's Knox. I was shocked. Well, you know what? I don't, I don't like talking about what I've done. Yes. I, 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 I prefer people talking about yes, it. Yes, yes, I get it. Because uh, there's a danger of uh, that mm-hmm. being associated with pride. Yes. And pride is the beginning of all falls. Mm-hmm. Pound go to pride. Yeah. From that moment, Otango to a countdown So I don't like talking about what I've done, but I've done a lot of things uh in the industry. Mm-hmm. And I've worked with a lot of artists. I don't think there's an artist in Zimbabwe who has mm-hmm. featured most artists than me. Serious. Tell me one artist you think has mm-hmm. featured more artists than mm-hmm. me. So wh- wh- why why do you do that? Well, mainly because I like to stay relevant. Okay. And I'm mm-hmm. someone who uses uh, the mind a lot. Mm-hmm. So I just don't do things. Yeah. I look at things. Mm-hmm. I study. I see, okay, what are my options? Yeah. A, B, C, D. I navigate mm-hmm. and then I do. So the collaborations that I've done 
I think I've done a song with almost every artist. Yeah. In Zimbabwe. And I understand you've done a couple of uh, you know, projects with um, uh, Freeman. Yes. Uh, the one, uh, um, uh, Unobu Mayere. Unobu Mayere. And it is why you have to be Exactly. So what's coming next? And also, I, I, I think I've heard about two versions of the Man to Man. Man to Man. The one you did with, uh, <laughs> no, uh, with Freeman and the one Okay, with, uh, okay, okay. Can I, can I, yeah. can I, can I talk about that? Hmm. There is two versions. In fact, there is one version of, yeah. of, of, of men to men. Men to men. But this is what happened. We initially had a, a, a different version mm -hmm. of that song, which we produced, which was produced by uh, Nubu mm -hmm. and Tifa. Yeah. And it is a very, very, very nice song. By the yes. way. That version is um, it's beautiful. We even did a video mm -hmm. for it. Do you know that? Yeah. But you don't know the video because yes. we never released the video. Oh, why? Because we changed everything and then we decided to oh. focus on it. So this is what happened. Freeman started using a different, uh, like a new engineer. Oh, yes. So we had to re-record everything mm -hmm. that we did mm -hmm. before. Yes. So that's why we've got two versions of mm. But because that instrumental was nice, I decided to use the same instrumental yeah, for yeah. another song because I couldn't just throw it away. It was, oh yes. So it's the same instrumental I used with Holy Ten. And Michael Max. Oh, so it was meant to be. It was on. It was meant to meant instrumental. Yeah. The, the song is still there, actually. Ah. That version, but we never released it. Oh. But I'm sure you heard it. Maseko's. Maseko's, of course. Yeah, but you know what? Maybe yeah. it 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 worked well for mm -hmm. both songs. Oh yeah. Because maybe if we had focused on that particular version of yes. Men to Men. Mm -hmm. It might not have been as big as it is with this new version. Yes. And we might not even have had the mm -hmm. other song that I've got with uh, uh, Ten. Yeah. So I look at every positive that I get from everything that happened. And you have worked with a lot of, uh, you know, artists. Yeah. Uh, locally and internationally, you know, uh, the likes of um, uh, Ja Prazer, yeah, Makadzi, yeah. yeah. Master KG, DJ Tira Freeman, mm -hmm. Mr. Brown, XQ, Cindy, and the late Soja Love. Yeah. Just to mention a few, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, how was it like, you know, working with these big artists and also... You know, Wongati Ui was the favorite or oh, the best Pogashana now, your experience working with these guys. Okay. Uh, locally, I've worked with almost everyone and mm -hmm. I enjoy working. If you see a, an artist that I've got more than one song with, that is a clear message mm. to tell you that I enjoy working with them yes. or yes. the other way. Mm -hmm. So uh, I enjoy working with Freeman a lot because he's very talented. He's a very good writer. Mm -hmm. Freeman writes very good music. Yeah. And he has written a couple of songs, even for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. I've also written a couple of songs for other people yes. that became hits. hits but well. you, you might never know that it's me who wrote mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. most artists, they know that I yes. do the uh, writing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I enjoy working with Freeman. I also enjoy working with Sekalas, mm -hmm. Makilati. Why? Because we understand each other mm -hmm. and there is mutual respect between yes, us. Yes, true. true. Uh, but I've also been working with the new artists as mm -hmm. well, like Oli Ten and Michael Meggs. I think I'm going to be working with uh, Bling Four as well. Mm -hmm. I want to work with that boy. Yeah. And I want to work with uh, JT. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I also want to do something with Tammy Moyo. Mm -hmm. I think she's good. Yes, Tani, she's good. And I, I, I love the visuals, the recent ones. Um, the recent one she did with um, Master Edge. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm loving Master Edge's yes, energy as well. Yes, Ah, oh, that loving guy is that. an emission. Keep it up. Yeah. And Oskid, whatever you're doing, keep it up, my brother. Yeah. Please give us something with Winky D. It's been a while. Mm. We need to hear Oskid and Winky D coming up together. Yes. And you never know, we might be... You know when I name drop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> you'd go on and on, but it's okay. It's too far. Because I did fun. marketing. Yeah, I, I went to school to learn exactly. to talk. Exactly. <laughs> of course, I know. And yeah, showing us the talent. Yeah, it's really more than sure. But your partnership with these, uh, you know, international artists. Yeah. Um, I think at the day, international stage. It depends. It depends how you want to define it. Mm -hmm. But if you want to define international stages, somebody who has done a song with an international artist. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, you could call me that. Yeah. But I'm not there yet. Mm -hmm. There's still quite a lot of work that needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, mainly because I don't have support. Yeah. I'm doing all this on my own. 
without, you know, financial support from other guys. I'm doing my own thing. Mm. That's why you never hear me singing in big gamma boys. Oh, yes. And then my boss are going to do anything. Mm -hmm. You just do your own thing? Yes, I don't know. I'm not going to boss compare one. But, you know, I, I want to, you know, ask you something, yeah, Alex. Um, you working with the, these international artists, like, so, like for example, DJ Tira. Mm. Um, Zaka Chinja say your, 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 um, musical career, you are going to influence how, and also, reception your music in South Africa. Mm -hmm. What do you receive say? Okay. Uh, I'm going to be quite honest with you. Yeah. My South Africans don't even know that I'm from Zimbabwe. Eh? Yes. Serious? Yes. I, I haven't come out in the open and say, say I'm in Zimbabwe. Hi guys, that guy who sing melodies from mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that. But if you go to the streets of South Africa, mm -hmm. go to the streets, my guy. Yeah. Then you hear what I'm talking about. The songs are just banging in the streets. Yes. Uh, mm. we, it's not like I've got the banging song and stuff. Yeah. But they know me. Exactly. When they see me, they know But, but when I you say they don't know that you are Zimbabwean, I, I, but I understand some of the songs you, you, you drop a Shona lyrics. Yes. Do you know, Zimbabwe, South Africa has got many languages. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that half of the people that listen to my cards, mm -hmm. they don't even know what she's singing about. Oh. South Africans. South Africans. Yes. Yeah, that I agree. So you get it now. Mm -hmm. So maybe after this, now they'll know I'm from Zimbabwe. <laughs> and uh, let's, just, let's see how that's going to work out for me. <laughs> so do you think the local music scene is, is, uh, is um, rewarding? You know, what do you think? Well, pe pe like people are doing good here. People are doing well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you can see from the fruits. And the most of all, the name of fruits are what is fire. So, but I want to also add, ask you, because you're, like a, you're a guru, you know, in this industry, a pioneer. But what do you think, about, uh, our local artists, yeah. this and that, yeah, we are getting it wrong, or they are getting it wrong uh, in terms of clinching the international deals? Okay. Uh, Chakutanga, the very first thing is to know that there is a music industry outside Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Music, I pay them in Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, can I, if you're not exposed, you think could the music you know go pay them no. So if an artist, for example, has done well in Zimbabwe this year, we expect that artist to do well in Southern Africa next year. Mm -hmm. But what's been happening is that an artist who has done well in Zimbabwe this year mm -hmm. wants to do well in Zimbabwe again next year mm -hmm. and to do well again the new year after and to do well in Zimbabwe. Yes. Yes. That's not bad, but mm -hmm. You're limiting yourself. Yes. Powerful. There is a, a very, there's, there's, there's so many fish mm -hmm. in the ocean. Yeah. And the market is huge. There's artists in South Africa that you don't even know that have got nice cars, mm -hmm. that have got nice houses. Yeah. Strictly from music, not from anything from else. Anything else, yeah. And I'm telling you this because I'm talking from experience. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of money in music. Are you also making money from music? Yes. How? Okay. Streams mm -hmm. to start with. Yeah. Uh, I have got more than 400 videos on YouTube. More than 400? Yes. Mm -hmm. you just do the calculations and yeah. see yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of money in music. People just need to know where it is and how mm -hmm. to get it. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot of artists that are making a living without being popular. The mistake comes when you think being popular is equals to money. Mm -hmm. That is our mistake here. How do they make money if they're not popular? Well, if, for example, you stream your song to your 1,000 followers mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yes. And getting $1, one mm -hmm. they play. Mm -hmm. How much is that? That's 1,000. Is 1,000 not enough for you to pay money? Yeah, it's good. If you focus on the whole country, mm, no. you've just focused on your Facebook. Yeah, account. your 1,000 followers. Yeah, that's that's really powerful. You don't you don't you, you don't need to go uh, to the, to next to the next door mm -hmm. to know how to survive. Yes. So that's the problem that we make. We do not know the industry. Mm -hmm. We know our industry. Yeah. It's not bad to know our industry, mm -hmm. but let's know the real industry. Mm. <laughs> Where to make money? <laughs> you know. Um, 
you, you talked about uh, collaborations. Mm -hmm. I want to understand from you, because we've worked with local artists, yeah. international artists, mm -hmm. the, the importance of uh, collaborations. Okay. Um, most people think that it's very it's difficult to do a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's not difficult? Tell us more. I'll, 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 I'll give you an example. If there's people that don't know me and they want to work with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say there's five people that text me messages. Yes. And on the on one of them, Pafaifa, mm -hmm. one of them and the Tumbler message, um come, boy them come when I end it as a mare goes to know him, but uh your song young way, put in a chorus, yeah. Do you think in daughters that go sweet as you can do that? I don't even have to charge that person. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing. Mm. You just need to know how to talk to these people. Oh yeah. Well, the, when you want to treat them like superstars, they treat you like they yeah. are the superstars. Over which charger? Treat them like your brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how I get this. The message. challenge, I think, then you know, comes when the song becomes a hit. Okay, the first thing is, you one thing that we're not going to run away from. Mm -hmm. You're not going to become popular if you don't spend money. Yeah, true. If you really like your art and mm -hmm. if you trust your art. Show it by putting some money on your heart. Mm, mm. You have to sacrifice. If you don't, so we never knew this when we were growing up, mm -hmm. when we were starting. Yeah. Because we thought we were good. I'm number one on radio. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I think next year I'll be driving a very nice car. <laughs> Why? Because I've, I'm the one who's on number one. Exactly. Do the reason. Ah. Uh, yeah, I see. But when I never go to drive a car mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe. Yeah. But I was very popular. Mm -hmm. the, then when we went to Zimbabwe, we went to Zimbabwe. That was an achievement at that time. Yeah, yeah. 2007, 2008, when yes. things were really bad here. Yeah, true. Mm. So I managed to get myself a radio and mm -hmm. a bed. Wow. That time Mm -hmm. And if I had stayed in this country, I was going to be okay like that. Because mm. for me, Nandashika. Okay. But because I went outside, I saw... <laughs> Exposure now. Abana. Ah, uh, boys. My fannies. Fannies. I started seeing the reality of things. Mm -hmm. And even in SA, I started to Shika anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We still need to know what is happening yeah. on the international, international mm -hmm. stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, my artist we want them to be we want music that is going to be able to go beyond political boundaries mm -hmm. but it's only going to happen if we know good industry if we study the industry yes mm -hmm. and um, you know what mm -hmm. let's talk about relationships yeah um, I understand you know there was a time uh, Pamagambo Netsa on social media mm -hmm. with uh, Amaigamu you know, your relationship was very <laughs> public. Oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. And the relationship was, was, was public. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these days, people do it for, like, you know, stands. In my stands, because I want to release music, they release a sex tape or whatever. Mm -hmm. But back then, your relationship with my gamu was like, okay, okay. We, then later on, it went, you know. Sideways. 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 <laughs> like, oh, Turned down south real went, quick. <laughs> exactly, real quick. But uh, why plan a good one? Or it was just for fun. Uh, you know what? I was growing up, man, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to come and stand here and say, "Yeah, uh, those episodes never happened." Mm -hmm. But um, I think I was supposed to go through those episodes mm. because why, why, that why, is why do you, do you because so? that is what prepared me to be who I am now. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to make the same mistakes again. No. I've I've learned from all the mistakes I've made. Mm -hmm. And not saying I'm never going to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. I at least know how to navigate. Mm. Because now that was you know Yeah. You know mm -hmm. So uh, we, like every human being, when you're growing up, mm -hmm. you also make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I've made my own fair share of mistakes. Then we, we, we saw your pictures, you know, like, you know, nude pictures. And no one was ever expecting me to rise from there. Exactly, exactly. But uh, how, how did you manage to then come out of that, all that mess? Okay. And was it planned, by the way? Okay. And why recording? Okay. Uh, everything that happened, nothing was planned. Mm. 
I was just getting all the shocks together with the people. Seto ngo zono pa nyowa ni tese ni wan. Sha, sato buda. What's happening? So, but, but who recorded the the videos? No, it wasn't. You can say video. It was pictures. The pictures, yeah. Mm. Who, who recorded those? You know what? It doesn't make sense to go back to those stories. Yes. Let's learn from what happened mm-hmm. there. You know, mm-hmm. and know that when you are in a relationship, and let's say you're drinking, yes. put your phones away. But sometimes what you do in that state, mm. when you are sober tomorrow, exactly. you may not like what you uh, have done. <laughs> you can say that again. So I don't like again. pointing fingers. Who did this? Who mm-hmm. did that? It's a story mm-hmm. that is finished. But do you regret? But, uh, I don't regret anything that I've done. Because if I regret, I wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Everything that I've done has been uh, adding up mm-hmm. for me to be here. Okay. Right now. And mm-hmm. being here, I'm not saying I'm here as yes. in I've made it. Yes, true. To be where I am. I'm not saying I'm higher. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be where I am, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> so I don't regret anything because I'm not the 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 designer mm-hmm. of this life. Very true. And I'm just following a script mm-hmm. that I was given. Sometimes I make mistakes, as mm-hmm. like any normal human being. Yes. But I learn from them, mm-hmm. and I move on. And I think I'm one person that should. Everyone that has made a mistake mm-hmm. should know that you can actually make mistakes and go to the yeah. deep end yes, yes. and still come up. At, at, at one point, you, you know, uh, you failed to pitch up for an Urban Grooves, you know, uh, reunion, which was set for Harari 2016. And Amai Gam said, and I caught, mm-hmm. she said, firstly, Nox Akashaya Maria ticket. I'm disappointed. that <laughs> Still a broke, mm. uh, close court. That was a, a my grandma back then. Nancy, my way, buru, pagu visa, you know, one of my brugwa. But was she telling the truth? Or maybe she was just trying to, you know what? To DC or No, no, no. You know, you know what? Sometimes when you're in those times, when that situation, you're in. Yes. Ono it as you know, John also regret. Yeah, time, time. So people might have said, things that they don't mean. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean that we should go and pin it down on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the the, the most important thing is what we learn from mm-hmm. what happened. Yeah, from those mistakes. Yes. Going back to do a forensic is what we need. Mm. When you're doing a forensic of all the mistakes, then it gives you a proper blueprint yes. of how to navigate mm. your trajectory. So what's your relationship like, my gamma now? We're good friends. You talk? Yes. You know what? One thing with me, I don't keep grudges. Oh, Why? Yes. Yes. If you keep a grudge in your heart, mm-hmm. it means that you are not doing whatever you're doing 100%. Mm-hmm. There's a part of your heart that needs to know that there's a grudge that I have. Mm. So you cannot you cannot do whatever you're doing 100%. So if you are not forgiving someone, you're not doing anyone a favor. Mm-hmm. You're doing yourself a disfavor because you're the one who has got hate in you. The person you're probably hating does not even know it. Mm. So if you forgive them, Now you're okay. They're the ones who are always going to be. Guys, this is so profound. Coming from Nox Gun here on the All Assembly Podcast Show. And I'm like, okay. I'm sure, I mean, from this interview, you can tell that Nox is wise. <laughs> this guy, not just clever, but wise. You know, there's a difference between being clever and being wise. So wise, there's, you know, some wisdom to it. So I, I, I can feel there's wisdom. Yeah. You and, know. And, and on that note, you know, wisdom is prayed for. Mm-hmm. You don't wake up the, with wisdom. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's something that I always want to, mm-hmm. I always tell people, good, even if it's not going to be you yes. still pray for wisdom and get it. Mm-hmm. So in 2019, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, a leaked video of you masturbating, you know, found its way to the public. And is, uh, at that time you were engaged to, I mean, with um, Talin Duzo, mm. who is based in the UK. Uh, you went on to say in a cut, this video is from way back before I even got married. And it is, it is the work of this girl called Bridget. Mm. She actually wanted money from me so that I, uh, so that she wouldn't leak the video, but I couldn't agree to her demands. Close court. Mm. What really happened? Um, long story short, I got into a, I got into a very uh, serious problem mm-hmm. with uh, drinking. Oh yes, yes. So when you, because I there was a lot of things going on with me personally. Mm-hmm. So I don't uh, come here and stand and condone yes. what happened. Mm-hmm. True. But it was a moment of madness 
that I look back and say, you know what? I should never find myself mm. in this situation. Again. Again. Because I might not be lucky enough to get back up the True. way I did. True. But uh, looking back, uh, I do not wish that for anyone. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you're doing things with uh, your person or whoever you're doing it with, mm -hmm. you, are, you are doing it out of trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that incident taught me a lesson. You should never, ever trust anyone. True. Never, especially someone who's got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the most dangerous people. Those are people, true. And those are the people that are always to blame. They don't even care about the next person's reputation. Exactly. You know? So anyone who's got nothing to lose mm. is dangerous. And I, I learned my lesson from that. And so uh, I, I want to understand, you yeah. know, what impact did this incident, you know, give to your brand? It was very bad. I don't want to lie. Mm. Uh, my brand went down big time. And um, I, I think I had a breakdown for quite a long time. Mm. I was drinking. Almost every day. Every day? Every day. Like an addiction? An addiction. And uh, I, it was not possible for me to go through a week sober. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. So it was, it, it was hard for people to see me sober than mm. to see me drunk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you manage to, <clears throat> to then improve your drinking habits? Well, I wasn't drinking because I love to drink. Mm -hmm. I was drinking because it was making me forget oh, what I was going oh, through. Oh, yes, yes. This yes. whole ordeal. Mm -hmm. Because when you want to look at it, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah, of course. And everyone here has got a picture that they've taken at some point. Mm. And they judged you. Yes. And they were didn't not wrong. Did that cause some depression of some sort? It did. Mm. We're human beings, man. Mm. But mm. then at the, end of, at the end of the day, I just thank God that he gave me wisdom mm -hmm. to know that in everything that you go through, there is positives to take from that. Mm -hmm. The moment you know that there's positives in any situation, True. you focus on those positives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, is what, that is what I did. I didn't focus on the negatives. That's why you never hear me and even by social media. Yes. I don't have time for all that. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I don't have time to explain myself to anyone. Yes. I don't owe anyone any explanation. But because now we're talking now, mm -hmm. but people should just always know that there are my mental health problems. Mm -hmm. and now, now there's a lot of men committing suicide. Mm -hmm. I could have committed suicide, not once but twice. Seriously? Yes. Tell us about that. Why? Because of those ordeals. Yes. I'm a yes. human being, brother. Yeah, true. Remember? And you know what? Yes. And I have figure. good parents. You see? You know? So how do you look in your parents' eyes after mm. that? Mm. Mm. How do you look into your mother's face? Difficult. After that. And you cannot stand there and say it wasn't me. Mm. That was you, my guy. How did they react to that? Your parents. We never spoke about it. Mm. They what they it. told me, they said, we are with you. Yeah, true. Because they, they knew that I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. And that's I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have planned to say, okay, this is what I'm going to mm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. that, that's not me. But I'm not sad about that information. Yeah. And I'm not sad about what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm happy because it's a lesson that I learned. Yeah, true. Mm. And I hope people out there, if you're in such a situation as well, Drinking might not be the solution, mm -hmm. but killing yourself is not the solution either. Yeah, true. There is, the, we should encourage uh, 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 platforms of men to talk about these issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because these are serious issues. Mental if you go to, issues, if you yeah, go to yeah. developed countries, mm -hmm. they have got uh, systems in, mm -hmm. in place focusing on these things. Mm -hmm. But because we don't think it's very important. Mm -hmm. We are not really focusing on yeah, that. Yeah, true. And maybe because it's not a bread and butter situation, mm. but it's affecting men as well. But did you get, uh, you know, uh, counseling? I didn't get counseling from mm -hmm. anyone. You just, I'm going to, you know, get over it. Yeah, I'm a very spiritual person. Yes. And I've made mistakes, but I knew, I, I knew that there was a reason mm. why I had to go through this. Mm. God allowed me to go through this yes. because of a reason. And if I don't learn 
I have made him very disappointed. So when you say you are a very spiritual person, mm. are you trying to say that maybe you're a prophet or a sangoma? <laughs> or I don't know, make, make, make us understand. Um, I'm just someone who knows his purpose. Mm -hmm. I know why I'm here. And I know my place in God's plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, <laughs> that is why I'm saying I'm a very spiritual person. And I don't, there's no one in between me and God. And God is direct. I like that. So the, I'm, I'm not a sangoma. Mm -hmm. I'm not a, a prophet. prophet. Though I, I've got so many examples mm -hmm. of uh, what I've done, like mm -hmm. things that I've done that, I'm, that you cannot really explain. Yeah. Like I, I can meet someone, I can tell them where they've just been. Yeah. It's possible. Serious? But yes. I'm sure if you want to be honest, you can also tell the people. Yes, true. That we had this, we had so this court talk before. Before. before this interview, yes. he was just telling me some deep stuff, okay, which I won't share, of course, because we were on TV. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. So let's talk about your marriage with, um, with Talin mm. Dudzo. Yeah. So was it a real marriage or what? It was a genuine marriage. Mm. Genuine marriage. I went and we got a little bit drama. Mm -hmm. There were reports that uh, Talin Diego Pamari, Utumurori, how far true is that? No, that's not true. It's not true. Mm. Some people are just speculating, saying, ah, Maria and Dia Talin is like a sort of Azurora. Well, because people don't know, mm -hmm. so people are bound to make their own. And I never came out and addressed it. There was mm -hmm. no reason for me to do that. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, but what, like, why are you talking about deep down? Or? Definitely. Yeah. My guy, do you go and marry someone you don't love? <laughs> do you go and marry someone you don't love? It was not a movie for me. It was, it was, it was genuine. Some people were saying because you, you, you maybe wanted her to be your like, sponsor or something. What? Sponsor. For what? Money. Money. <laughs> he knocks. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> How can I want a sponsor for for a wife? Yeah. No, man, no. It was a proper relationship, mm -hmm. a proper marriage. Yeah. And even the parents, they know me. Yeah. Very respectable parents. Yes. And yes. everything was going on well. Mm -hmm. And then until the devil got into it. Yeah. yeah. What happened to your maybe? The, the I'm sure everyone knows what happened. To your divorce. Everyone knows what happened. I still don't know what happened myself. Mm. Mm. It just happened. Yeah. You, you know what? I don't really want to go down that road yes. because I don't want to, to like say something that is mm -hmm. going to start a lot of other mm -hmm. unnecessary mm -hmm. drama. Yes, or unnecessary topics. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, that is a closed chapter, mm -hmm. and I don't hate anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm very cool with her. I even met her when I went for another gig. I think last year we met at some function. Mm. So. I don't keep grudges. Yes, I understand. If I don't like someone, I will tell you I don't like mm. what you've done mm -hmm. because of ABCD. Exactly. If I don't tell you because you haven't made, the, you haven't given me the opportunity mm -hmm. to tell you. Mm -hmm. So I'm someone who doesn't keep grudges. And the number one grudge is going No, I, I understand. And, um, you know, Ie Talin, she claimed that, uh, you know, she facilitated and bank roared the Dura Master KG for your hit song, My Melody. This is what she had to say in a court. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm the one who pushed for his collaboration with Master KG, mm -hmm. and it was not for free. Mm -hmm. I massively paid for it. I even financially endorsed his collaboration with DJ Tira, and all mm -hmm. the uh, these payments were expensive. Mm -hmm. Are these claims true, or she was just saying? Um, if we're going to learn from this, mm -hmm. okay, if the people out there are going to learn from what happened, mm -hmm. we need to focus and look at it from a very different angle. Yeah. This is a situation that happened between two people. Yes. Whatever happened between two people needs to stay between two people. Mm -hmm. I'm but not then going, found its way listen, to wait, the public. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. going there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to come here yes. and try to either uh, say she's wrong mm -hmm. or she's right. Yes. But whatever she said, she said it on a public platform. Mm -hmm. But whatever happened did not happen on a public platform. Yes. So I'm not going to be here mm -hmm. talking about what happened uh, behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be like that. Yes. Uh, some people can do it freely mm -hmm. to talk about your own personal relationship. Yes, true. I'm not here to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever happened between me and Talin happened. Mm -hmm. And it's a closed chapter. True. I don't hate her. Mm -hmm. I actually wish her well. And uh, she really did a lot for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and say yeah. she never. 
when you're in a relationship, when you're in a marriage especially, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you help each other and you don't count those things. Very true. The moment you help someone well, and mutual. you count them mm. and you record that you have, mm. there's, you know, it, it doesn't give a good picture. Mm, that's true. If you are in a marriage, uh, you're supposed to do things for each other because mm-hmm. you want to do things Pure for each intentions. other. Yes. And if you do something, I don't think if you, you remember everything that you've done for people out of, of course, your heart. Of course. Let me end there. Mm, this is very, very powerful. I'm talking to Knox Gun here on the All of Seven podcast show. And uh, last year, you made headlines after it was alleged that uh, you had been arrested uh, for oh, fraud yeah. in yeah. Dublin. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, Can you share with us you know, what really transpired? I just wish people would read the full story. Mm. That story came out by an uh, Irish newspaper. Yes. I just, I don't know why people just read the headline. The headline. <laughs> <laughs> Not the details. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The truth is, I got arrested for real. Mm-hmm. I really got arrested and I spent one night. I was supposed to spend four hours in there. Mm-hmm. This is what happened. Uh, I, got, I got booked for an event mm-hmm. in Ireland. And when I got booked, you know, when you get booked, the promoter pays for your, your visa. Your visa, the for your transfer, yes. accommodation, everything. Mm-hmm. It's not your prerogative to go and check the criminality of those things. Of course. Because I'm not doing this for the first mm. time. It wasn't the first time oh, yes. me going to do shows in Ireland. In in the UK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then at that particular moment, if the night before the got to live in this remo, somehow this water was nice, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I <laughs> so I actually did the live the night before. Exactly. I got to but I didn't. Mom told me to rock one. Hey. Oh, I have. I have. When I so they booked me there. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know what this offer must say, and still up to now, I'm not really sure what it is. So can I just say you have Pakati Pavo? Who did what? Mm-hmm. Because. It's a company that you'll be dealing with. Oh, yeah. I'm not dealing with one person. Oh, yes. I'm dealing with a, mm-hmm. with a promotional company. Mm-hmm. So it's not up to you to go and check could Maria Badara say. So what happened is, mm-hmm. I think from what the police were saying, they used a fraudulent card mm. to pay for my room. Oh, I see. Yes, to pay for my room. Uh-huh. So when the police came, they don't care who's paid. They I know see. this room. This room, Domine yeah, no Ajo. Yes, and they took me. We tried to get hold of those guys. They never responded mm-hmm. because I think they knew. They knew the other child. So I was supposed to go in for four hours. I ended up going for the whole night mm-hmm. because forget what change, forget change of uh, session. Uh, I think station command. Oh yes. Jaga vanditi. In fact, I need sugar mango now. You go 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 I am going to miss him. Go to mango now. But now we are going. Oh, so it's good. Shama. Shama. So it was overnight. So you know what I did? I prayed. I did my. I did my. I did my. I did my. I did I didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. And everything that I was doing was even on live Facebook. Yeah. Like another guy, I don't know. I did my. I did my. I did very, very honest. Yeah. The first time I showed up this. So when these guys came, the police that came to the room. Okay, you are going to phone them. Because that. We know we are going to get this guy. We are going to talk about champagne. I'm not so happy for you. The boss of this is no. What are you? The room here does it. Yeah, but there are other people who are not doing anything. They 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 are not doing anything. <laughs> so if I knew if I knew I was gonna be arrested, I was not going to go. But why not? That's not Moses. Exactly. Well, you know you're not. So yeah. I went there. But like the guys who eat too I think throughout the night, the story is going to judge. Oh yes. Oh so, yeah. It's very fast. Yes. They are very. I, I, I attended court the following morning. Oh. I'm saying the night. Ah. So what is this? I'm very serious. And then I didn't Moses. I'm going to do something. Oh, so then the way I think if I was serving so on so on, I would in the end Oh. Then they discovered you no, know, you've just arrested mm-hmm. a Zimbabwean influencer mm-hmm. who has got five hundred thousand followers, followers on his Facebook. On Facebook yeah. And this guy has not done anything wrong. Yes. So in the story that was reported, if you go to it, mm-hmm. if you go and look, we're waiting for the 
Answer every one of them. There's no reason. No, they are Buddha Iriba. Kunda kusung, we are done kusung. Yeah, yeah. They in the original story. Mm. Mm. So I ended up not being uh, uh, put in prison. Oh yes. And uh, I was supposed to have a, an event there, and mm-hmm. and because Ngo Gandhi Sung, I didn't have that event. Yeah, they are not so the time. Yeah, the judge ordered them that I have to do. To, to come back when you don't get it in my event because when things are even down hey so i'm i'm supposed to be i was supposed to be going back because it's a one ago they said yeah. i should teach the kids oh, there oh, about yes. my music yeah, and all that exactly so that i can just cover up mm-hmm. for the story for that one could he she was up here yeah. so this is what happened after that which is the good thing you know which is why but we... but mm-hmm. i never came out and spoke about it yeah because you don't talk about issues that are in the courts yeah sure and if they had read the whole nyaya mm-hmm. there was no reason for me to ask for ah, them to ask true. me anything exactly. because everything was there mm-hmm. mm. which is the reason why we invite you know our superstars to be on this platform so that they clear the air sometimes the allegations will be just too much you know labeled being judged these and this and that and vasina pe kunyatso dairira zvinhu zvavo but here's the platform and now you hear it for the first time ex- exclusively on this platform as Knox clears the air he said He never got arrested but that incident happened but he never mm. you know and that was on banda ka topina mseri Yeah, yeah. 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 But, you know what? Mm. Uh, in my heart, I know the number panic. Yes. When you're not when you're going to be innocent, mm-hmm. there's no need for you to panic. Very true. And I was innocent. I never panicked. I never came out to defend. Mm-hmm. I let the cost do their, their job. Okay. Mm. So, Knox, uh, we have talked about almost everything. Yeah. Are you now seeing someone or maybe um, do you have plans of settling down? Uh, I've got plans of going to heaven. <laughs> to heaven. Mm. Okay. Basically that's it. What about the marriage? If it's part of it then it becomes part of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. But right now, right as we going to do in Tumbe does my records. But uh, not I'm not I'm in a relationship. Oh okay. A very serious one to that point mm-hmm. to that matter. So when you say very serious one mm-hmm. that person uh, is she's part of your life. Um, so I when you talk are you saying I'm going to marry you or you we, we are going to meet in heaven. Hello <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what? Eh, and if you go to Panemona no gara, I say you got to go my future plans. Yeah, yeah true, true. Mm. That is why I But asked. yeah, but uh, definitely everyone wants to get everyone wants to get married, uh-huh. you know. So when if it's God is designed it to mm-hmm. happen like that. Mm-hmm. But when the time is right. Yes, yes, when the time is right. So looking back at your uh, the younger you, you know, mm-hmm. what do you know uh now that you wish new back ah, then then I says in easy. That has it better. I wish I knew uh, the difference between music and the music business. Music and music business. Mm-hmm. Today guys it, it's like a lecture. We are learning a lot from this guy. Yeah. I wish I knew that could dare wrong. Because I think I wasted 10 years just by not knowing the definition of those two things. Oh. So if you know the definition you can mm-hmm. be able to separate them. Okay. Maybe mm-hmm. for someone who doesn't know. Right. You remember when I was at there is talent. Mhm. And then there's intellect. Intellect, yeah. And those two things usually don't go together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Most talented people are very bad business people. Yes. And who are they? Yes, but the people. Yes, yes, yes. So you can't be say so. So there's no those little things that yeah. Yeah. You know what to do. You know how to you to navigate. Yeah, I, I understand. So before we let you go, uh, Nox, any uh, are there any other you know new projects coming? Yeah. Um, we have just been working on. a couple of projects mm-hmm. with uh, some international artists mm-hmm. I've done a song with Ianya like I said yes it's called whatever you want from mm-hmm. Nigeria Nigeria yeah I've done a song with um, Eddie Kenzo mm-hmm. he's from Uganda Uganda yes yeah so we know the Sadaro Wanimba mm-hmm. I've done a song with uh, episodes from Ghana mm-hmm. a song with um, 
uh, Gigi Lamain. Mm -hmm. Gigi from South Africa. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, so, I talk to Gigi sometimes, you know. Even like, oh, please. She's very go good. Push she's my very good. From that she side. Like, very okay. good. Yeah. yeah. So now the plan is we we want to be relevant mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. So that has been the plan. And oh, that yeah. is what we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. Because if you become relevant in Africa, mm -hmm. we have got triple quota to who are living in the well, world. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like the vision, mm -hmm. you know. It's like, like, like what I told you, Dr. Ngapepe, Kutikanaori artist, this year, you get a number one, you know, in Zimbabwe. Yes. Next year, three are going to number three in Southern Africa. Southern Africa. Can we number three in Southern Africa? She's going to go to number one, you know, what's the purple? At least, wakava, you keep growing. Yes. Manji, my artist, I don't get number one, you know, each year, in and out. I can say that number one, this year, I'm going to lose. Exactly. Exactly. Of which, you say number one, you know, what's the name? I'm going to go to number one, because you've done it before. Exactly. Why do you want to keep on repeating the same thing? The same thing, I have it. You cannot, you cannot tell me that you're an artist who's just motivated, who's being motivated by the same thing. Yeah. No, 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 no. We need to think big. Yeah. We need to understand that Zimbabwe is just a very, very, very bad small country. Very true. It's a very small country. Yeah, and like it may not be able to support each and every artist here mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. Zimbabwe is only good enough to support about five, six, seven artists. That's yes. all. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you cannot continue to sing. Yeah. It doesn't mean that your, 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 your breakthrough is only in this country. Mm. You can break through with, if you're supported, but you need support from home. Because you cannot be a king of another country if you're not a king in your own Very country. true. Uh, Nox, maybe a freestyle. Chimbo Tupoka freestyle. A freestyle. My fans are also... Uh, I know you guys are missed at this guy. Uh, he's a freestyle. Freestyle. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Umbo Tupoka freestyle will be jarred as well. Do that with a freestyle. Gambo is a freestyle. The nuns are Nox. The who your panel nasi. Then I allow you. Anga in the wounds of the coward. Nay all I be. Nay all I be. But thank you, thank you, thank you for this thing. And I wanna say to you, keep on keeping on. Wow. Keep on doing this. Keep on helping everybody because you've got the All of Seven podcast show. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> what a piece! What a piece from this guy, Knox Goody, on the All Last Seven podcast show. I love it. So, but before you go, I see King Zion on your yeah, King Lion, hand. yeah, King Lion, King Lion, yes, yeah, King, King Lion. Lion. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Why King Lion? You're a shumba, you're a shumba, shumba chika. We're the zaga. Hey, this one I need a shumba watch. So, your parting mm. remarks, maybe my show. I don't go see now. Who my fans are going to go on right now. Right, this is a very, very, I was waiting for this time. Exactly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, I want to say to, to everyone who's looking at me right now, uh, always remember Kuti Shinchesi Shondakuitega is only a prayer away. Mm -hmm. And know that everything is a lesson, mm -hmm. whether good or bad. Never give up. And you must understand the importance of failure. Mm -hmm. It's only through failure that you learn success. Mm. It's only through failure that you learn the importance of success. Mm -hmm. And remember that there's two feelings, positive and negative feelings. Mm. Negative feelings are more powerful than positive feelings. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that we should focus on them. Mm -hmm. We should focus on positive, positive energy feeling, because yeah. that is mm -hmm. what is going to get us to heaven. Oh, wow. That's very powerful. Coming from Knox Guni. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, you know, for supporting the All Ascent Podcast Show to our sponsors. We love you so much. We really appreciate your support. And more followers. You can, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, you know, follow Knox as well mm. uh, on your socials. It's yeah, Knox Goon. Yeah, Knox Goon. And, yeah. and, and, and also, please support Ola. <laughs> uh, for real, for real, for real. For yeah. Real, for real. Like, guys, this is, a, this is a platform that is very, very good for mm -hmm. the country. Yes. Because I think uh, you're following right now. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on doing that mm -hmm. and just bring people's stories to the world. Exactly. Thank you for what you're doing mm -hmm. and I just want to say keep on doing that. 
Thank you so much. Eh vanhu ve muno mu Zimbabwe please. Uyu mwana wedu ngati msafoti wona. Amen. Thank you so much. That was not. Guys, until next time. Bye bye. Looking for a comfortable getaway? A place to relax and enjoy the finer things in life? Or simply a holiday home out of your city, equipped within a safe, secure neighborhood, with running water, electricity, and a beautiful place to lay your head with satellite entertainment and an outdoor garden to relax? Pamusha is your place, your getaway, your home away from home. Contact Jada on plus 263 Seven seven one seven nine eight four one five, or plus two six three, triple seven four three nine six nine eight. Pamusha, your place, your home. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless energy.